What is up, Roughnecks? This is Pwn Sorcerer of Pwn Sorcerer Gaming, and today we're going to be discussing how to summon in entities in Seven Days to Die. So, we're going to discuss not only how to summon them in, but we're going to also discuss a couple ways to control them and to take care of that kind of business. So, make sure to stick around for the entire video. Anyway, so first off, we got to turn on the debug menu. Hit F1 and type in DM. Hit Enter. You're going to get a confirmation up there that says debug menu on. That means you turned it on. Okay, hit escape. All right, now you hit F6. F6 is going to enter, open up the spawn entities menu. In this menu, you have animals, you have zombies, you have traders, you have all these Twitch um, actions, which you know they enabled for twitch they have vehicles they have all the zombies in the entire game feral uh radiated um so on and so forth okay so you click on one and it will spawn it into the game now here's the zone whoa i didn't mean the feral i didn't mean to do the feral but anyway arlene's now dead thank goodness we don't want her coming around no more she can go back to ja woodle's house Anyway, let's go back into that menu, and here we go. We've got all these. There's the normal nurse. So, let's, but see how they now. This could get dangerous. This could get dangerous. So go back into the menu. If you do spawn 25, and you do the nurses, you got 25 zombies coming after you. Instead of having to just quit the game and crap your pants. What you can do is you can hit F1 and type kill all. No spaces. Hit it, and you just cleared the area of zombies. Now that can be used anywhere, anytime for any clearing of any zombies, but it's kind of cheating. But if you spawn in zombies and they're out of control because you accidentally spawned in 25 feral zombies um there's that so you can kill them all with that but also you if you hit q it turns on god mode which means they won't be able to kill you so if you just hit q f1 you know i mean they're ferals and they surround you and they start beating on you at least they won't kill you and you can just type in kill all because obviously you didn't mean to summon in 25 that are going to just surround you and kill you unless that's exactly what you meant to do okay also one more tip if you hit F6 and you summon in a whole pile of them, you can hit the star on your numpad. I'm going to call it the numpad. I don't know what the hell it is. This Over on the right side of your keyboard, there are numbers with enter, insert, delete, with the num lock and all that crap. Well, there's a little star. And if you hit the star, you turn off zombie AI. You could re-enable it by hitting it again. This could be used to also get an awesome uh, screenshot, such as this, which I'm going to do right now. There we go. For a thumbnail or whatever else you want to use it for, or to show your friends and to giggle and like a schoolgirl about what you did in the game. Okay, turn it on. Turn it off. So, you can protect yourself by typing F1 kill all. You can protect yourself by turning on God mode. And you can protect yourself with the star key on the numpad. So, that's how you can control the hordes from killing you after you summon them in. If you make a mistake or whatever else. Now, if you accidentally summon, tw summon in 25 traders, you can get rid of them by restarting the game. So, that is what you can do, guys. So anyway, take a second to subscribe, like the video, and if I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next one.